Sometimes on development level you need to have some users for making your app as real as possible. For that you can create test users with many ways. 1. Manually from DB using phpMyAdmin, Navicad, DataGrip or something like that. 2. Via Laravel Tinker with Terminal. 3. Manually from your web app, register users from web register page, etc. We can find this kind of methods more and more, but are these methods actually optimal for you when you want to have a lot of users? For example, let's assume you need to have 100 or 1000 users in your app and your task will be the user searching. In this case, that three methods just noticed will not help you. So what can we do? In this video, I will cover how to generate users in your level app. We will generate users with their random names, emails, addresses, ages, even with images. Also, I will concentrate on image processions. It means fake image importing, it means resizing, manipulating and storing in our server. It's all will be processed during generation or seeding of users. Sometimes may you will need to use the same image with different sizes in your app in different places. For example, in comment section you will use users images with small sizes because don't need to use big images which will waste users time for downloading the big images. That's just for better user experience. So for one user we will store multiple versions of the same image in the public uploads user images folder. Also we will store the original one too in the storage app public folder. Images versions details we will manage from configproject.php. In our example we will have three types of manipulated images small, medium, large. In this video we'll use two very popular packages such as 1. Image Intervention Tool and 2. Laravel Faker Package. Intervention Image is an open source PHP image handling and manipulation library. It provides an easier and expressive way to create, edit and compose images and supports currently the two most common image processing libraries, GD library and Imagic. The class is written to make PHP image manipulation easier and more expressive, no matter if you want to create image thumbnails, watermarks or format large image files. Intervention image helps you to manage every task in an easy way with as little lines of code as possible. The library follows the FIG standard PSR2 to ensure a high level of interoperability between shared PHP code and is fully unit tested. Faker is a PHP library that generates fake data for you. Whether you need to bootstrap your database, create good looking XML documents, fill in your persistence to stress test it, or anonymized data taken from a production service, Faker is for you. If you have watched my previous video about Laravel user roles permissions that I built up, you can find that on GitHub. I will continue to work on that on separated branch. If you don't want to watch that video, it's not a problem, don't care about that. In this video, actually, we will work generally on user seeder, as we want to just generate users, right? It will be better if I create a new, let's say, seeding branch and continue to push the new commits on that branch. So if you have an empty or existing Laravel app, you can just follow the steps and do appropriate things for your specific project. At first, could be better if we will start to make necessary stuff for us ready. 1. One of these things are installing image intervention package. Composer require intervention image. 
the service provider will automatically get registered for Laravel Otherwise, you can do that for your case, add the line in config app.php. 2. Second necessary thing which we will do is creating a new .git ignore file inside of new created directory public uploads with content. This means that all files and folders inside of public uploads will be ignored from git except from dot git ignore this is just okay because in uploads folder we're planning to store all our processes and uploaded images of users so don't need to send that all into git repo 3. required to run this command to create public storage shortcut symbol for storage a public directory PHP Artisan Storage link. Four. Make sure that you have three images in your public images watermarks directory with names large watermark, medium watermark and small watermark.pngs. You can download that all public stuff from here. We will add some new properties to user model, which means that we need to do the same changes in appropriate user migration. Users migration will be like Here the image field is for manipulated images which will show the image name and which we will store in public uploads directory The original image path field is for showing the path of original name which we will store in storage directory it's time for creating our seed for users. I will put here my cards with comments which will help you to understand all dark sites. Here we added create dev users function where we create a user using project PHP config variables as user fields. Here we added a function called upload image which where we will generate an image via faker Manipulate that, I mean download a random image, resize it if need, store in appropriate places with different sizes. And at the end of this function, we will add the temporary data in the seed items protected array. Let's explain the code of upload image function step by step. Faker image folder path variable is for having the storage folder path for image where we will store original image generated from faker which will be something like this with this block we will generate an image in the faker image folder path and as returned value we will get generated image name which will be a random string plus dot gpg as image format it will looks like this file path variable will be an absolute path of original image it will looks like this get image size variable will be an array which where we will get info about current generated image it will looks like this div variable will be division of image sizes it will be a float number something like this image path variable will looks like this new w and new h variables will be natural numbers or null 
it depends from our project.php user.imagedivisions.min or .max values. In AMG variable, we will get something like this. With this block, we will insert the watermark and we will get something like this. In this block, we will check is image sizes division number out of defined interval, then we will resize image if needs and fill with some color out of the image box borders. In the bottom, just sorry for small bug, here I just had to write the saving part in else statement like this. In the last step, I will keep the current data in seed items array. Here I have generated image field as image name, original image path field, random address and birth date from given values. As I said, I will add the info in seed items array as next element and will continue the same functionality for the next iterations. Now let's look the run function which will be executed for first. With this, we will create dev users for testing. Here, I defined faker instance and also date and initial path variables. Initial path will looks like this. Here, we will create user images folder if it not exists yet in the storage app public folder. Here we will create three directories step by step if it needs. So after that all, we will have uploads path variable like this. Here we will create small, medium, large directories in the public user images folder if it needs. Here we will loop through our counts which in my case is 50 and will call upload image function for each iteration. At the end, we will save all our seed items data in the database, actually in users table. Note, don't forget to import all necessary classes. In this step, we already can run our seeds, actually use our seeder. Note, just don't forget to clear your config caches after changes in your config or EMV files. You can do that with different ways, such as PHP artisan config cache. I will recommend you to use the package that I've created actually for these kind of situations. Just run this for installing, if you didn't have installed yet. Composer require pull false clear caches. Now for clearing all your app caches, as the config caches you can just run php artisan clear caches. Also for dropping all your db tables, even if they have relations, just run php artisan drop tables. If you are here in this step, it means that you have already cleared your app's config caches and ready for seeding users data. So if you just want to add users, run migrations. If you don't did it yet, you can run PHP artisan migrate. Run only user seeder with this. PHP artisan db seed dash dash class equal user seeder. After successfully seeding, we will get something like this. And these are uploaded images locations. A. In storage, we will store our original images. B. In public, we will store our processed, I mean, recessed, watermarked, manipulated images. What we will do with uploaded mess data? 
May you ask, what if we have many images uploaded during each seeding command, but we don't want to manually delete them after each seeding? I will just answer you. We need to create a files deletion command. In this step, we will create a new artisan custom command, which will clean all uploaded user images created during seeding process. For that, we will create new clean uploads.php file inside of app console commands directory. In clean uploads.php, public function handle will be executed automatically when we will run PHP artisan clean uploads. With this block, we will delete all stuff from storage app public user images directory. With this block, we will delete all stuff from public uploads user images directory. In our case, it means everything from three directories, small, medium, large. So we have added a seeder to our empty or even existing project, which will generate users with random names, emails, addresses, ages and images. Also, I have described how to generate random images for users using Laravel's built-in package Faker, how to store that images in our server, original backup and manipulated images with different dimensions. With our created seeder, we can generate the same image with different dimensions because maybe will need to use the same image with different sizes in your app on different places. Also, don't forget to register this command on appconsolekernel.php. So that's it. Thanks. See you in the next videos.